Hey guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter three, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started um, with number two. So it just wants to know which ones are bigger. Remember that the mouth opens to the bigger number, okay? I don't know why they gave you two of the same ones. It's either this one, that one, or equals. So we're just comparing the numbers, okay? It's kind of like ABC order, where if the first letter is the same, you go to the next letter. Well, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Now these ones, 2.549, 2.549. That one's going to be easy. Okay? They're exactly the same. That means they're equal. Okay? Number three, they both start with threes. So I'm just going to cross that off. Okay? The next one, that's a two and that's a zero. That makes this one bigger. Okay? Done. Okay? Now, number four, they're trying to trick you. Okay? A zero at the very end of a number that's got a decimal point, you can just cross that off, okay? Which means that 8.25 and 8.25 are equal. They're just trying to trick you, okay? All right, we're going to do five. They both have a five. And the next one, eight, and then seven. Well, eight is bigger than seven, okay? All right, so nine, they both start with nine. They both have a three next. That one has a six and that one has a five. That one's bigger. Okay? You guys are going to do seven, eight, and nine. You can totally do that. I believe in you. We are going to be busy doing number 10, writing those in order. So from greatest to least, so the biggest one first, okay? Well, they all start with three. So I'm going to go ahead, three point. So I'm going to go ahead and write three point, three point, three point, and three point, okay? Now, I'm going to cross the threes off because I don't need those anymore, okay? So now the biggest one, well, that one's got a zero next. That one's got an eight, a zero, and a one. Well, obviously, this one is going to be biggest. So eight, two, five, done, okay? Don't need that one anymore, okay? Now, that one has a zero next, and that one has a zero next, and that one has a one next, one, eight, okay? Now, this one has a zero and this one has a zero. I'm going to cross those off. I don't need them. Now this one has a zero and this one has a nine. Okay. Zero, zero, eight. Okay. Pretty easy, guys. Okay. Shouldn't space those out quite so much, but I did. So, okay. So this one, they're all zero points. Okay. We're still doing greatest to least, so we need the biggest number first, okay? Well, that starts 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, and 0.7. Well, 0.7 is definitely biggest. Done, okay? Cross it off when you're done with it. You don't need it anymore, okay? 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.5. Well, 0 0.5, okay? We should probably put some commas in between these, okay? Done. Okay. Now we have 0.2 and 0.275. Well, here's the thing. If 0.2 were to continue, it would have a zero. Okay. So 0.27 or 0.20? Well, 0.27 is going to be bigger. And then 0.2. Okay. You guys do 12 and 13. More than capable. Okay. So these ones say to find the unknown digit to make the sentence true, okay? So it's going to go 0.248 is bigger than 2.40. That's true, right? So we need, hmm, let me, just a second. Okay. So if we were... Oh, so 0.248 is bigger than 0.2471. Okay, if we put 2481, that would be wrong because that would be bigger than this one. Okay, does that make sense, guys? Okay, so we just need it to be bigger or smaller than this one. That's 2.47. It's got to be bigger than 2.46. You see that? 48 four and 46. So this one had to be 47. Seven is your number that's missing. Okay, so. 
five, seven, two, they all have that. That one's three, blank, and five. Well, the number in between that is four. Okay? Now, point, or 7.6, 7.6, so they're all going to be 7.6. So I don't even know that. That's what's missing, though, right there. 7.6, okay? All right. Number 17, the completion times for three runners in a 100-yard dash are 9.75, 9.7, and 9.675 seconds, which is the winning time. So you want the fastest time, which is going to be the smallest time, okay? So 9776, that's the one you want. And we're going to put that in seconds. Okay? All right, a discus competition, an athlete threw a disc at 63.37 meters, 62.95 meters, and 63.7 meters. What are the distances from least to greatest, so from smallest to biggest, guys, okay? Well, that 63, that 63, that 62, that's going to be our first one. 62.95, okay? I'm going to cross it off. I don't want it anymore, okay? Now, 63.3 or 63.7? Well, 63.3... Is going to be that. So 63.7 is our last one. Okay, there you go. Okay, guys, we're going to go into lesson check. You guys are going to do that on your own. You totally can. I believe in you. Okay, we're going to do the spiral review. Okay, Janet walked 3.7 miles yesterday. What is the word form of 3.75? So three and, you know, I guess I should. Spell out three for you guys, huh? Since it's asking for word form, three and 75, and this is in the hundredth. Wherever the last number lands, that's what you're, that's the column you're in, okay? All right. A dance school allows a maximum of 15 students per class. If 112 students sign up for a class, how many classes does the school need to offer to accommodate the students? So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to write down multiples of 15 because I don't know that off the top of my head. Okay, so... When we do this math, it looks like the closest we're going to get is 105 without going over. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 times 15 was 105 with 7 left over. Okay, now that 7 left over, we can't just leave them hanging. So you need the 7 classes, but you need to add one for that 7. So you're going to need 8 classes. Okay. All right, guys. What is the value of the expression? I'm going to write this one on my handy dandy scratch paper so that we can work it out step by step. Okay. So big bracket, little bracket, 29 plus 18, and that bracket plus small bracket, 17 minus 8, and that one, and the big bracket, and divided by. Okay. Ready, y'all? We're going to do the little, the little bracket first, okay? So we're working from the inside out, okay? That means that this division, that's not going to go anywhere, so I'm going to rewrite it, okay? I'm going to do this one, and I'm going to do this one right now, which means we're still going to have our big bracket, too, in the plus sign in the middle, okay? So 29 plus 18, I'm go over here and put 29 plus 18. 17, 4, so 47, okay, and 17 minus 8 is going to be 9, okay? So now i got to take care of these brackets. So I'm going to bring down my divide by 8 because that's not going to disappear, okay? 47 plus 9 is 56. Now, I know that 8 times 7 is 56. 
my answer is seven. Okay. We're going to put a seven there. Okay. So pause it, write down, do whatever it is you got to do to make that happen. Okay. Okay. So we did that one, write it down. Okay. All right. So your number five's answer is seven, okay? Kathy cut two apples into six slices. She ate nine slices. What expression matches the word? So she cut two apples into six pieces. She then ate nine slices. That's the expression that matches the word, okay? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 3.3. Come on back for 3.4 soon. See you soon.